Uh, hey guys, this is a new video, and uh, there's a lot to cover, so keep in mind this is going to be a really long video. Um, so first of all, as you can see here, it is the Mike Guy, Neji Hyuga, and Rock Lee combination card event. Now, before I get into this, um, keep in mind that the Reborn Mike Guy event's coming up on the 29th. Essentially, um, let's see, two days away from now. So, um, Reborn, as we know, is generally for Diamond at the very least. Um, it usually is... Reborn Diamond Reborn is 10 million plus in CP. Now, my guy Snow Slouch, when it comes to CP himself, um, personally, I can get him to 4 million, uh, and that's a very long time ago. Um, I haven't really bothered to check, and I've gone up in uh, strength quite a bit since then. Um, but yeah, my guy has the potential to be very, very powerful. Now, keep in mind, he's in essentially three combination cards. Um, for example, he's with, uh, right now in this new combination card, the three, uh, the three-piece combination card being Mike Guy, Neji Hugh, and Rock Lee. He's in that combination card. He's in the combination card with Kakashi and himself. And then there is the Rock Lee, Mike Guy combination card. Now, keep in mind, since I said, uh, Reborn cards go to 10 million, Diamond at the very least. Um, combination cards that are like that generally go towards the same amount, as you can see. Obito has 11 million, my combination card is 11 million. Um, because of that, I, if you can, I'd recommend for you to go to try to get Reborn White Guy. Um, I am not going to, simply because I'm not really interested in him. My team is fine as it is right now. Um, keep in mind, I'm using one of my weaker cards as it is, um, and I'm still at 57 million CP. And I can go a lot higher if I bother to switch towards my stronger team. But that's besides the point. Um, that's just a recommendation. Another thing that would be that would make it really good for you to try to get Diamond Reborn, uh, my guy, is because this combination card is rather cheap, believe it or not. As you can see, if you go all the way down here to um, the consum to the recharge rewards, if you recharge 6,500 gold, which is actually the max amount you can recharge during this event, you're actually going to get all the tier 5 items, uh, or at least the tier 5 certificates for the tier 5 items. And you're also going to get the complete um, combination card. Now, uh, that would that's actually very, very good if you think about it. You get a... Uh, keep in mind, though, this does require for you to have already, like, a Diamond Rock Lee and a Diamond Mike Guy, simply for simplicity's sake. Um, you can train up, uh, what's-his-face, Neji Hugo later. But either way, um, the combination card's rather cheap, respectively speaking, compared to, let's say, the uh, three-man three, three man combination card, like the Itachi, Shistui, and uh, Kagami uh, combination card, which was, I believe, 25k recharge in total, whereas this one's just 6.5k recharge. Um, a lot, a lot cheaper. Um, yeah, I think if you just recharge, like, uh, let's see... Uh, 6,200 gold, which is 200 bucks, and then, like, a uh, $10, uh, what's it called? $10 recharge gives you 300 gold, that's 6,500 in total, and you pay 210 bucks for a triple, triple combination card and a lot of tier 5 items. Um, so yeah, just, that's just saying... Uh, Neji is now diamond, or he goes to diamond at the very least. I'm actually going to get quite a few uh, rewards out of this, even though I don't plan on doing anything. Uh, because Neji, well, Neji can go to diamond. You need 300 Will of Fire to get him to diamond. Uh, you just need to train him to his purple card form. He doesn't actually need anything else other than that. Um, as you can see, if we go down to Neji, he just needs another Neji. He doesn't need another, uh, like, another training mats and stuff like that. He's just fine. Um... If you have an edgy though, if you have a bronze, you're going to get Toad's H times 10, level 6 pill scroll package times 5. If you have a silver, you're going to get a Byakugan. If you have a gold, you're going to get the badge of the Byakugan, which is the re exclusive material to refine the Byakugan to tier 3. And then a uh, badge of the Hyuga, sorry. And if you have a diamond, you're going to get 50 Wall of Fire and the Byakugan skin Neji, which um, is a skin that comes with a skill. Gentle Step, 8 Trigrams, 128 Palms, causes huge Taijutsu damage to one target, and the target can't use skill for 5 rounds, greatly reduces chakra recovery till it's the end of the battle, and it ignores the backhand. 
Um, it appears that you can actually get it for 10k gold. Um, just buy it, but it'd be cheaper just to get a diamond. Um, because you get it for free then. Um, if you hear little noises, that's just my puppy. He's sleeping on my chest, but he might wake up at any moment. Um, apart from that, there's not much else to tell. If you want the secondary passives, uh, for these, oh, sorry, I forgot to finish this. Uh, diamond, if you have a bronze rock lead, you're going to get to stage times 10, level 6 scroll, scroll package times 5. Um, the exclusive equipment so jumpsuit, the gold at gold, you're going to get uh, the refining material for the jumpsuit, which you get at silver. And at diamond, you're going to get will of fire times 100 and the exclusive skin called burning Yauth rock lee, which doesn't really do anything. It's just a cosmetic thing. Um, and apparently swimsuit guy is open if you want to buy it for 800 gold. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Passive skill, gossip, broken mountain strike. Uh... Let's see, cause huge surge to damage all enemies, probability seal enemy for one round, this effect does not need to hit. Um, this one can actually be applied to Hinata if you want to use it also. And then 8 diagrams, palm revolving heaven, after you release unique skill, re resist next suffer and rebound the next skill. After equipped, increase Saijutsu attack, oh okay, yeah, this can be actually put on uh, Hinata also, cool. Um, then there's a lot of Neji's items, which can go to tier 5 also, which is interesting. Uh, but let me find the rewards for my guy. Let's see. Okay, here we go. If you have a copper my guy, or bronze, whatever you want to call it, you get Big Toad Kichi times 10, level 6 pearl scroll package times 5. If you have them silver, you're going to get the jumpsuit. If, if you have them gold, you're going to get um, the load block times 1. And if you have them diamond, you're going to get the will of fire times 100. And the load block is the refining material for the jumpsuit. And the exclusive skin uh, swimsuit guy. So I guess you get this for free. Which is kind of shitty. But eh. it used to be that you got the other skin. The Ryu, Ryu guy. The 8 gates Mike guy. But uh, they changed it now. So you don't get it. Which kind of sucks. But I guess that's just how that works. And apparently I already have. Huh. I already have all his skins. But yeah this would be the one you used to get. You don't get it anymore. I guess you have to pay for it now. Uh, with gold. Uh, I heard last time it was like 10k, 15k. Could be wrong though. Um, damn it, I didn't really want to consume anything for this event, but I think I might have to because of that skill. Uh, the ones that can be used with Hinata. Um, also, if you have the Momoshiki, the other guy from the um, the guy with the Byakugan, basically, um, whoever has it knows it. Um, you can actually use that for uh, use that skill on on him also because he has a Biago gun. Okay, it looks like the skills are at 25k consumption. Yeah, see, I don't have that body surgery and Biago gun times five. Kind of wanted to get this, but you need 25k gold for the consumption, which kind of sucks. But I whatever, I guess. Um, what else is there? As far as the event goes, there's not much else to tell. Um, the combination cards are really powerful. You can get it any time, any day. Um, although this event is only two days. Uh, although, another thing to keep in mind, after the 29th, um, it's going to be the 30th and then the 1st. Or, I um, get that wrong, either way. Um, either way, uh, New Year's event is going to come up. And that one's usually very, very pricey. So, if you're looking to get something powerful, keep an eye on that. And we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, it's just a recommendation. Either way, um, Diamond Reborn Might Guy is gonna be very, very powerful, simply because, like I said, he has quite a few combination cards. He has Kakashi, he has, uh, Rock Lee, and then Rock Lee and Neji now. Each combination card coming up to, at the minimum, 10 million, if you have a Diamond Reborn Might Guy. And that's four 10 million cards, at the very least, that'd be 40 million on your team, minimum. Uh... But yeah, so let's see, what else was I going to cover? Um, oh yeah, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the new card, the silver. I only managed to get silver. Um, I came in in like 6th or 7th place, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, so yeah, here we go, this is the card. Um, keep in mind, uh, these are its exclusive items. Let me take off anything that's extra. And these are ex its exclusive items. Uh, right now, the zero ring uh, six path is glitched. Uh, so instead of uh, what it does, what it's supposed to do at the very least, what it says that it does, after the release a unique skill, it releases the nine phantom dragons at the end of the round. 
And what it does, it suppresses the front row enemies for one round and permanently decreases their uh, chalk recovery speed uh, for the rest of the battle, I guess. And it needs to hit. Now, it doesn't actually do that. Um, what it does, it does seal the front row, um, but the problem is, is that it suppresses your own team. Um, basically makes it unable, uh, makes it so they can't release their unique skill. Here, I'm going to show you very quickly. Um, so, here we go, and here's the team, and we're going to try Inazami's activation. Now, my team's still going to win, simply because they're just that powerful, but see how the Chewbacca Tensei and nine phantom dragons he suppressed the entire my entire team which is not what's supposed to be done as you can see none of them can release their unique skill every single one of them is just like not really doing anything it suppresses the initial unique skill any passives or anything after that is not suppressed but either way that's not something that should be like that is what i'm trying to say so, um, I already sent an email to the devs, hopefully they'll fix it, but, uh, we'll see. In the meantime, I just have the Sasori's ring on him, simply because it gives him some ninjutsu and stamina. Um, I also have Madara's cane on him, tier 5, then steam pressure damage, and then the, uh, what was it? Long ninja boots for some dodge. Um... But yeah, this this card is really beastly. Um, even though it's silver, it's actually rather weak compared to its gold counterpart and it, even its flower counterpart. Um, I actually have a screenshot of the flower counterpart um, from Nick uh, on the uh, on the. See, I got this from Nick. He, he sent it to me, and this is what the flower uh, version looks like. As you can see, it has 50 million HP and then 18 million combat. So there's quite a bit of big difference between silver and flower. Um, keep in mind though, he does have the tier 5 items and other stuff like that. But either way, the difference is very large. Now as far as I can tell, tier 5 doesn't really give you anything else apart from uh, better stats. When it comes to like attributes like ninjutsu attack and all that. Um, and more CP, but it doesn't actually give you any extra abilities. Um, those All of those abilities are accounted for at tier 4. So if you have it at essentially tier four any of the items you're good uh so nagato's black rod um six path tier four honestly uh, <coughs> excuse me um at level 105 it gives you 57k hits and 46k taijutsu attack personally i was actually a little bit disappointed with this um item uh, i expected the stats um for like the hits and the taijutsu attack to be a lot higher I still have it at only level 105, but either way, I expect to be. I expected it to be higher. Is all I'm trying to say. Um, now, if you equip it to the six path, he gets an extra 90k ninjutsu attack and 80k HP, and releases a skill called Mi uh, Mirrored Sudden Attacker, uh, which uh, basically just confuses the enemy opposite of you for one round. Um, now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There is Akatsuki's Cloak, Six Paths, Pain, Tier 4. Um, at level 105, it gives you 117k Ninjutsu attack. Now, this is not one I was disappointed with. As you can see, the bonus are very, is very, very nice. Um, now, it increases an extra 90k hit, 180 tenacity, and it also releases a skill called Asura Shape. Which releases three faces and six arms, and each face can increase your uh, ninjutsu defense uh, by 40%, and each uh, face can increase your ninjutsu attack by 30%. So you get quite a bit of bonus just by equipping it and releasing after the unique skill. Then there is Pain's Body Tier 4. At level 105, it gives you 63k ninjutsu defense and 61k taijutsu defense. Now, if you equip it to the uh, to the six path of pain, uh, the card gets an extra 100k uh, hit uh, for wearing it and releases a skill called Summoning Chameleon after the the round ends, which increases your uh, dodge by two rounds and also has a probability to twine the enemy for one round. Um, it says winding for three rounds, but as far as I can tell, it's never actually winded any of them or never set that particular status. Um, and then there is the Black Rod, uh, Six Path, Pain, Tier 4. At level 105, it gives you 109k stamina and 189k ninjutsu attack. Now, if you equip it to the Six Path of Pain, 
he they get an extra 110k ninjutsu attack and 50k hp and they also release this skill called seal mark although i'm not quite sure what it does to be perfectly honest um personally uh, it actually does have quite a few renengan it actually has all of the renengan possible as renengan normal the asura path renengan the Pereira Path Renengan, the Animal Path Renengan, the Human Path Renengan, the Naraka Path Renengan, and the Renengan Nagato Uzumaki. Now, if you have this, um, you can actually put any of the passive skills from the Sixth Path of Pain on this. Uh, personally, right now, I have the Value Spirit, which is the Animal Path uh, passive, uh, which what it does, it, it gives me quite a few stats, as you can see. 67k HP, 81k ninjutsu defense, taijutsu defense, and 76k ninjutsu defense with some uh, chakra recovery. Now, what it does is that it increases my team's ninjutsu defense, taijutsu defense, hit, tenacity, ninjutsu attack. So it does a lot more uh, than, say, what the other one that I have, which is, let me find it over here. Uh, where are you at? Which the demonic statue of the outer path, which um it just provides some hits here. I have it on Nagato. Uh summons the demonic statue of the outer path. Uh uh silences the front row enemy so they cannot use their passive skills. Uh their skills for five rounds. Uh needs hit to take effect. And uh the Dominic Statue of the Outer Path will replace uh, Nagato or the Sixth Path of Pain. Uh, to use Taijutsu attack, immune to all debuffs, increases on Ninjutsu defense and Taijutsu defense. Nagato will return, or whatever card uses this, will return after 5 rounds. The skill can only be used once. And it gives you 172k HP and 59.8k Ninjutsu attack. So it probably gives me a lot more CP, but combat-wise abilities, uh, this one's a lot better. Um, and yeah, that's really all to cover. Now, the skill itself is really, really powerful. Um, it deals true damage, and it, it deals it with ninjutsu, taijutsu, and genjutsu attributes, and with a very high probability to um, seal, suppress uh, all enemies for one for two rounds, and block uh, skill damage, basically provide a shield for one round, and it ignores the backhand. Um, personally, I actually have it on the front of my team, as you can see here, simply because uh, the card is that powerful. Now, um... I'm going to go ahead and show you what it can do. And right now when I showed you the, the glitch with the 9 Phantom, it should tell you um, it has a lot of skills to release once it releases it. So as you can see here, uh, here we go. And Chibaku Tente and Merit set an attack. It um, confused the enemy. Uh, then right now, releases the Asura Path. It really provided the uh, buffs to hit and yeah makes it a lot a lot more powerful oh uh this see right here give it a second see summoning chameleon is a uh what do you call it a skill that's released every turn it's it doesn't provide a what do you call it ow snoopy no I guess so. Uh, sorry, he's like, uh, what do you call it? He's teething on my finger. And I usually let him, but if he bites a little too hard, I just stop and kind of just ignore him for a little bit because I don't want him to bite anybody. So let me put him somewhere else for a little bit. Okay, there we go. Um, anyways, as I was saying, um, let's see, where were we at? Oh, yeah, so... It has a lot going for it. Just to give you an idea, so just to give you an idea of just how powerful it is, it can easily solo the confrontation of new and old. So just watch. Uh, there you go. Oh yeah, and that seal, uh, the sealing, it seals passives, actives, uh, weapons. It seals everything. And as you just saw, he essentially two shot uh, this entire uh, this thing right now. It wasn't a uh, a battle per se. So you just went two rounds. And there you go. The battle ended. Um, now, he does have a chance of twining. 
uh, but he can actually he can't actually solo this one simply because um, these guys have way too much HP believe it or not um, he's dealing millions worth of damage and these guys still um, are up and running and he does have a chance to whine like I said with his summoning chameleon although it won't always happen as you can see here um, so he's not it wouldn't be uh, unfair to say that he, he's a how shall I put this he's a he's not a stunlocker by any means but he does have a nice ability to twine everybody uh, if you get lucky enough as you can see like I said he still can't kill these guys simply because they have way too much HP but he can take them whittle them down quite nicely um, Yeah, uh, not much else to tell about this combination card. It's really, really powerful. Um, it's more or less the most powerful card I have as of right now. Um, yeah, it's 12 million CP right now. I think uh, if I were to ignore hit and just go for my strongest uh, cards, uh, you know, max CP, I'd do about, um, I don't know... Uh, 62 million worth of cp right now i'm at 57 but that's mostly because i like using hashirama for hits um his passive ability which i'll showcase in a little bit because i didn't get a chance to last time his passive ability is really useful for um taking down those uh pesky hit guys uh pesky dodge guys because as long as you have a moderate amount of hit on him he can increase that substantially for example um if i have 500k hit on him uh his buff uh, his passive skill can increase that by nearly 100%, I believe. And so 100% of uh, 50k is a million. 500k is a million. So that can very easily uh, take down uh, enemy cards. So here, I'll just show you. Hopefully the battle lasts long enough for um, me to take him down. Or, well, for Hashirama to actually do anything. Uh, because, I mean, now that I have this... Uh, this six path of pain i can just suppress them and not let them do anything for three rounds for two rounds essentially and uh because of that uh hashirama can just release the skill which uh the active skill which uh just decreases all of their dodge so it makes it so they can't use dodge for one round and then just murder everybody and see true several thousand hands and kills them because it increases his own uh hits by a percentage so it's very 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 good for me at the very least not for my enemy but very good for me um hmm yeah there we go see uh so yeah that's about it for this video not much else to tell um, really powerful card, really useful, but yeah, I'm gonna have to say bye. So leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you don't, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Bye.